Okay, what's up reefers? So welcome back to part three where we're, we're getting ready uh, the, We're getting the dip ready the, the, the bear dip. I'll bring you on in a closer look of what we do and, and I'll we'll, well, I'll try to explain as we go um, We got black gloves on for safety because we are working with insecticide So if you're gonna do this make sure you wear black gloves or just gloves in general uh, Don't breathe it in don't drink it none of that stuff, you know um, it's not a white Russian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, yeah, okay, so we have, uh, let me bring you on closer. Say hi, Dad. <laughs> hey. So what we got in the furthest bin uh, where my dad's at, we have water, uh, salt water. We're going to mix the bear in right now. Um, and I'm taking a pint. I don't know how deep that goes, but basically you want to get the consistency of skim milk. And you want to just kind of... I don't, know, I didn't, I don't remember if I shook it or not. Find this at your local horror store, then go to your LFS because they probably bought them all so they could <laughs> sell them to you. That's what ours did. <laughs> and he didn't. And he didn't sell it to us high price. He sold it to us to the exact same price that that Home Depot he, sells or Lowe's or whatever. Cheese, <laughs> wee. Looking for a certain consistency. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. that, that looks about right. Yeah. Now. Hey, so now that we have that, we are going to be transferring the corals. Come on, kids, let's go for a swim. <laughs> Hi there. Okay. Once you, uh, so once you have the consistency, which I'll show you right here, right now, of, of skim milk type, um, like this, like that, lo looks like legit milk, a little bit watery. I, and after you put in all your corals, you're gonna want it. You're gonna want them to be in there for about 15 minutes, and not any longer, not any shorter. Uh, that's just to take. That's gonna be basically, that's gonna kill or, and or stun all of the bad stuff you don't want that they may have on there, like algae, aquarium flatworms, um, different unwanted types of nudie branches, crabs, anything of that sort that may be in your corals, it, uh, this, uh, the bear will kill it. So 15 minutes max, or, or that, just 15 minutes, is, it's a sweet spot. After that, we're gonna right here, right, uh, while we're waiting on that to go on, we're gonna go ahead and fill the rinse. Uh, rinse number one, rinse number two. The reason why you have two rinses is to make sure you completely get all of the bear off because if you still have traces of bear um, on your corals, then they can end up killing uh, like your inverts and your fish. You can probably kill your entire aquarium uh, livestock as well. Uh, so you don't want that. So that's why you want to have two rinses. Um, some people even do three rinses. I don't think we'll, we'll do that. We don't have enough water to do three rinses. Uh, so two rinses minimum, and you can do as many rinses as you want after that. 
But after that, we'll then put them on the, in the tanks. Well, first we'll put my dad's in there first and then we'll put mine um, in my tank upstairs whenever we're, we get to the point. It's at 13 minutes. I'm gonna turn the camera off so we don't waste any battery. Um, and we'll be back with you when we're gonna do scrubs and rinse and, and fracking and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll be, we'll, we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're, okay guys, so we're back here. Uh, we got two minutes left on the clock. We have rinse tub number one and tub number two filled up with water. We have a little smaller container. I'm gonna put my coils in there while we, while I help my dad glue his coils in his tank. Yeah. That's probably gonna take a little bit of time. But what we're gonna do, I'll uh, think that later. So, uh, well, one, minute, yeah, one, one, minute. one minute left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be uh, scrubbing the bases of the corals and rinsing them in rinse tub number one. Um, after I'm done, then my dad will uh, rinse them in number two. And he, what he's gonna do is he's gonna uh, clip the tips of all of his corals, and I think I'll do some of mine too. And, except and base, my cherries. And, and base if needed. And base if need, needed. Yeah. Um, um, and, and then, yeah, and then we're, we're gonna put all of his corals in this tub. There's no water in it, which is fine, because then we're gonna go over to his tank and glue down his corals while my corals sit in a tub of water until I can get to them. So what you'll do is once you rinse, you deliver it here, but you don't touch any more than I touch. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. But what we'll do, we begin to have this as a bridge. Like I can just... Yeah, you can lay them in them, I'll grab them from there and then yeah. I'll rinse. So, yeah, so... Sounds good. So, mm -hmm. so what we're gonna do is is we, we have this... Oh, there we go. There's a timer. We have this container right here as we're gonna use it as a bridge. And, and yeah, I'm gonna put the camera yeah. over here. Yeah, right there, that's fine. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's do here we this. go. Let's let's get to this. Okay, let's see, it's like a, it's, it's like a, a raffle. Let's let's see, here's a raffle, let's see who. Yeah.
you to do is take off my, uh, my gloves um, and, uh, and we'll, we're just gonna skip over fragging because it's all the same thing. I can do a video on fragging at a later date um, and I'll get back with y'all whenever uh, we're gonna put, uh, well, I'll show you what we do when we put my, uh, we'll just cut through um, putting everything in the, in the aquariums uh, and we'll just show you the finished product. What's up reefers? Okay, so this is gonna be the end of part three. Was gonna show you all the tanks, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to wait till part four, which me and my dad will film tomorrow, kind of go over. Basically, part four is gonna be a conclusion of everything that's happened in this little mini series, what we do on a big coral hall. This is our first, like, really big coral hall. Um, like I said a little bit earlier in this video, in, in, in part three, we got over 18 pieces of coral. And I say pieces because some were frags, some were colonies. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all part four. Peace.